Hey guys, this is Zach. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of this 2021 Ram Promaster for sale. Uh, starting out, this is a 136 wheelbase with the high roof, shortest wheelbase they make, um, but the highest roof at the same time. Bumper to bumper, it's just under 18 feet long, uh, just like a uh, short bed, full-size pickup truck. You can fit it in just about any parking spot you need to, super maneuverable great thing um, as we're looking at the exterior here uh, there is an exterior t-vent window here on this uh, passenger side as well as one over on the driver's side um, and there are two windows around back you'll see later on uh, so you can see out those back doors uh, but let's bring you on in and uh, we'll show you around uh, starting out here on the inside um, You'll notice there is a nice little seating area here, right? Um, there are spots where you can seat two people here quite easily. Uh, there's a little table leg and uh, table system that moves into place here. I'll show you that here in a minute after we bring you around the kitchen. Um, but underneath that is a Dometic dual zone fridge freezer. You can set it up both as a fridge. Uh, you can do fridge freezer, bolt freezer, uh, quite roomy, lots of space on both sides. Um, and that is all uh, fully self-contained with solar power, which is great. Uh, plug it in, turn it on, don't worry about it from there. Um, over to the right is our power station. Um, everything stored back here is our uh, house batteries, our power inverters, um, anything needed to run the power in the back of the van here. So all that power is fed off of solar panels uh, located on the roof. There's 300 watts of solar. Um, there are overhead light switches in here, so you can have nice lighting at night. Those also dim. So you can have them nice and bright during the day, uh, turn them nice down low uh, before bed. Down below that is a set of rocker switches that turn on various things like under cabinet lighting, um, our water pump, if you're storing it long term, you can flip that water pump off, as well as an exterior uh, light on the awning, which I will uh, show a photo of here in this video. Down below that is your digital battery monitor. That battery monitor gives you an idea of the state of charge, how much battery you're currently using, or um, how much solar you're bringing in as well. We're 100% charged. Uh, all it's doing is maintaining the fan, which is currently running above us. There's a uh, power switch for the uh, power inverter. Um, you can flip it off for long-term storage. Don't worry about the extra consumption. And then there's a, a standard uh, household 110 outlet down below that for plugging in any electronics you may need to. Um, this is the uh, mounting legs or the mounting uh, panel for the lagoon uh, table lake system. I'll go, like I said, more into that here in a second. As we move around to the kind of uh, kitchenette here, um, we'll start out with some storage here, right? Lots of storage, overhead cabinets, as well as the lower cabinets. Um, the cabinets, there's a push button lock system that allows them to lock into place as you're driving down the road, but press the button, they easily lift up, um, store anything you need to in here. Lots of storage, both sides are about the same size, lock them into place. Um, moving down below those, there are under cabinet lights down here, as well as uh, a couple 110 outlets located on the bottom side of these cabinets. You can easily plug in any appliances or uh, charge your phone. Down below here, we've got a nice butcher block countertop uh, with a nice uh, poly uh, coating on it, so it's nice and waterproofed out. Um, there's a, uh, a sink here, uh, which has hot and cold water to it. Nice kitchen sprayer as well. Um, and this sink is about 10 inches deep, so you can really fit a nice uh, big pan in there, a uh, big pot, and have plenty of room to wash it. Um, then let's move to that storage down below the sink here. Um, down here, there's lots of room for any you know cleaning supplies, uh, storage you might need. We keep our trash down there. This fan just features a seven gallon uh, gray water from your sink. Um, it's easy uh, to pull it out, dump it on the go, and you're not necessarily tied to some humongous uh, undermount gray water tank that you're restricted to finding a full scale RV park that you can take it into the bathroom and dump it right in the toilet if you need to. And then uh, off to the left, there's one large um, big uh, storage drawer here so you can fit your uh, deep, uh, deep dish pots and pans, things like that in there. Um, lots of room there. Uh, one thing to note, this countertop does not have a stovetop built into it. We instead, this van included in the sale, has two butane uh, single burner stovetops. This allows you to cook outside if you want, or if it's rainy, um, unfortunate weather, you can just set them right here on the countertop, crack it open the windows in the fan and cook on the inside. We find that we cook outside as much as we possibly can. So to take up our four and a half foot of countertop space with extra stovetop um, really uh, retracts from the usability of the van here. 
let's look now at the T-vent windows, right? So these have screens in these lower panels here. It's just a knob that opens and closes those windows. They on out from the top, uh, bringing the bottom out so you can have them open in the rain too. Uh, that's a great uh, added feature of those. Um, keep your van vented in the bad weather. One other thing to note here, uh, there's a dial here. That is the controller for the, uh, the parking heater in this van. Underneath the passenger seat here, there is a vent hanging out right here. And there is a heater, a Webasto heater, located underneath that passenger seat, all vented through the bottom side of the van. It allows you to uh, run heat in here if you're winter camping. Um, it's just a low to high setting, turns right on, um, and that feeds off the gasoline gas tank right here to the van. So fill up your gas tank um, driving down the road, uh, you park, pull in, it's going to feed off that. There's no external tank you have to worry about filling up. One other thing to know here, there's a swivel seat. Um, this passenger seat swivels around, driver's seat does not with the constraints of having countertop space here. Um, but locks forward into place, there's a knob in the front, and swivels it around. Um, this seat, this uh, swivel seat adds about an inch and a half to the overall height of the seat. But we have installed a lowered seat base, which brings this whole system down to the stock height uh, from the factory. As we look above that, there's a big overhead storage bin here. Um, runs clear to the front of the cab, just like up here. So you have quite a bit of uh, extra storage up there. Um, we've got window shades, window coverings for all of the windows um, located up there. They have magnets sewn into them. So they easily just snap into place, hold themselves into place. I'll show you that around backwards a little easier here in a minute. Let's bring you up to the bed platform and show you a little bit here. Um, this is a full size mattress. Um, wall to wall, it is about six foot three inches long or wide, I should say. Do note these walls are pocketed here, which allows you to gain a few inches on each side of sleeping width. Um, I'm six foot tall. I can spread out in this van and I don't feel cramped, um, which is not the case in a van that just has straight across walls. Um, you will be quite a bit less comfortable. This is also a six inch memory foam mattress. It's a very comfortable mattress. And down below it, um, it is drilled out for proper ventilation too of the memory foam. You don't have to really worry about moisture or uh, your, your mattress feeling sweaty at night if it's, you're camping in hot weather. Um, up above that, on both sides of the, the bed here, this is the head end here, um, there are reading lights up here. There is a night light function. If you're getting out of bed at night, there's just kind of a blue light that casts a light glow. And then there's also a nice LED reading light. And those, if you hold down, will dim as well. This one over here on this end works both in the bed and in the little uh, the seating area here. Uh, the one in the back is great for the uh, back occupant there. Same thing above the back end here. There are two overhead storage bins. Humongous uh, storage capacity there, which is awesome. Directly above the bed is the Max Air fan. This is the Max Air Deluxe, which is a, a, a fan that works as an intake or exhaust. This fan is also the model with the remote. So the remote is stored on the front end of the cabinet here. And you can open and close it from the front cab. You hop in your van. You can set an automatic temperature. So if it gets above a certain temperature, it'll start pulling the hot air out for you. Kind of cooling the van off as much as it can there. Also in the back, uh, directly above the rear doors, there's a, a smoke detector located up there. Just to give you a little extra protection there. Let's talk about this Lagoon table system really quick. First, I want you to know there's a mount right here, just like what I'm hooking into over here. So you kind of see what it looks like. But underneath this storage compartment here, in the back behind the fridge, we have two aluminum legs here, or a leg and an arm. So how this works is they slide on into these mounts here, and they just clamp their way into those mounts. Then there's an upper mount here, and then stored on the other side of the uh, cabinet base here, there is a nice tabletop that has a bottom mount on it, and that clicks into place. And so that opens us up to make it more of a uh, two-person table here. You can kind of sit and have dinner on the inside if the weather's rough or you pull into camp late. Um, it also swings into place. You can kind of lock it into place, use it as additional countertop space for chopping things, cooking if you'd like, open it up on the inside here. You can also mount it out here and set it up out here with, you know, whatever kind of food serving you'd like, set your drinks on it, whatnot. Pretty versatile system, which is awesome. So around back, there is a humongous amount of storage. Um, as we flip this open, you can see it's uh, pretty vast in size under here. A couple important things to note. Um, this fan has a 20 gallon fresh water tank, 
which is located over this uh, passenger side wheel well. You can see a water level here, so you can kind of know how uh, what your water level looks like. And then there's a spigot uh, inlet right here. You can hook up your, your water filling hose and fill it right up. Off to the right here is a light switch that turns on some undermount lights for this storage area at night, which is great. There's a uh, propane hot water heater here. Um, that allows you to have an outdoor shower if you want. Um, you can hook it up, you can rinse your legs off if you need to after a, a dusty mountain bike ride or a hike. Down below here on the floor, if you take a look, there's this aluminum L-Track um, set into the flooring in the front and the back. Um, that allows you to put in bike mounts, tie downs, anything you'd like to really keep your loads uh, secure back here. I personally put bike mounts in here. I can store my uh, large frame mountain bike. An extra large would fit no problem too if you kind of angle the wheels a little bit. Uh, my road bike, for instance, fits directly back uh, with no angling. So you kind of put a variety of bikes in here and having that L-Track allows you to move it side to side to accommodate handlebar widths, uh, different bike sizes, things like that. You're not set to one configuration. And then up above on both sides, um, there are little storage cubbies that allow you to tuck any camping goods you need to over top of these wheel wells as well. Other side um, looks the same as well. So there's another 110 outlet back here uh, in case you need to power anything out the back as well as a propane uh, detector in the front. This van has a trailer towing package if you need to use it as well or you want to put bike racks in the back there. Um, and also up above here is the aerial backup camera which is awesome it gives you a big bird's eye view behind you as you're backing up moving into place let's talk about the awning system um, and the roof rack here so this van does have an awning on the outside it really creates a lot of shade especially us living in the desert it's very crucial um, but traveling out west the sun's quite hot uh, as, especially as you're at elevation so that awning makes a big difference very easy to uh, pull in and out Additionally, this fan does have a roof rack made by the same manufacturer of these awnings. Uh, the roof rack is currently holding the solar panel on. Um, the perk of mounting the solar panel to that roof rack is there's a lot less holes drilled in the ceiling of your uh, van. Uh, so there's a lot less uh, sealant you have to worry about later down the road as it sits in the sun. And that roof rack, I would say 80% of it is taken up with the solar panel and the uh, the fan so there's not a whole lot of extra room if you're thinking of mounting a roof box things like that um, but it is definitely serving its purpose as far as the solar panel uh, being mounted to it and next i'll show you one of these window shades mounting into place using these back windows um, so a silver side is the inside uh, black side is outside these windows have a nice uh, body framed rim um, made out of steel which is nice and magnetic so it's just snap right into place Create a nice even fit there and then from the outside you'd never know um, there's a there's a window there you can't see through it at night and they have a nice layer of insulation in them too that kind of help keep both the noise and uh, the exterior temperature in or out of the van depending on what season you're looking at um, while i'm right here i thought of one last thing i'd like to point out um, down here around the back i'll go ahead and shut this door so you can see it a little clearer uh, is a shore power inlet built into the bumper so there's less holes built uh, drilled into the exterior of van for uh, future exposure to salt and anything like that uh, this inlet here you just pull it open uh, plug in your shore power if you're you know camping in a developed campground you need more power needs than your solar um, easy to plug in let us know if you have any questions uh, feel free to shoot us an email um, we'll get back to you let us know if you know, need any uh, certain dimensions have any certain component questions and uh, we hope to hear from you Thank you.